Hey, kia ora, Helen Bramsey can be alive from Sun City in Arizona on an absolutely super fantastic sparkling a serenity Sunday. Where the day of the week where we go. <sighs> so how is your serenity Sunday been? We've had a great day. It has been amazing. So we've um we had did our relaxing, we did our work that we needed to get done today. Um, we started the day off with a um, with a walk and then we went to the dog park and invited Zephy's friend Zoe to come. I'm sorry, Chloe to come play. I don't know why I've got Zoe on the brain. Chloe to come play. And so they did and had a blast. We were at the dog park for about an hour and they probably got there about. I think, they, I think Zeph Zephy and Chloe and the other dogs were playing together for about 30 to 40 minutes before we had to leave. And we only had to leave because Zephy started limping. And it turned out that where the pads of her paw is, there's another pad that's partway up the leg. And between those two areas, there was a red area that wasn't bleeding, but it looked like it wouldn't take much to bleed. So obviously she had stood on something and it upset a leg. Um, so we decided to call it quits then. And um, then we basically just drove back home after that. I did our live first and then drove back home. <laughs> and uh, then we spent the day and it's like, you know, we got home. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning. 10, 10 30 somewhere i don't know somewhere around there um around, you were home by 10 30. i still look oh i forgot to order the groceries okay groceries i can't believe i forgot to order groceries um and then um i had some box i've been um, we had some stuff that was stored in boxes and things and just like laying around and creating clutter. There's still a lot of clutter that needs to be cleaned. Um, but those boxes, I was able to take them, put stuff away because um, I created some space with my, putting my essential oils on the carousel. Um, and I got all those boxes broken down. They're now sitting in one box with all broken down boxes, all stacked neatly inside a box. And I'm ready to take over to the recycle bin, but uh, we didn't, haven't done that yet because that one I've got to take the car with because there'll be other stuff going over as well. So, um, you know, made, made um, just did one thing on that today. So on my clutter, my decluttering, it's sort of like, okay, we're going to get rid of these excess boxes. Um, so we've got a lot of stuff to work through and everything else and go through. And um, I suddenly thought, I've got these broken down boxes. I probably need to pack one of them with stuff to go to storage. <laughs> But that's okay. I'll figure it out when it's time to figure that out. Um, and then I was just basically just pottering around. And at one point I went and took a nap um, and uh, had a nice delicious hour long nap. And Ziffy came and napped with me too. So that was kind of nice. And uh, got some um, laundry folded and put away, sat on the bed, folding the laundry that needed to be done and um, watching a movie and, um, didn't take long to fold the laundry, so we just watched the rest of the movie. Then had some lunch, and then went and took a nap. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's just been a really nice day of pottering and napping and relaxing. So it's been a good day. And now that I'm feeling energized after our because we did a very extended long walk this evening, and Zephy's leg's doing fine. Um, she's now looking for her TREATs, which she doesn't get till 8 o'clock. But there's certain places that I always hide them in. So after she finishes eating and when we get back from our walk around, she goes around to all of those places and sniffs. Every place that I put the treats, she goes and she sniffs to see if I put treats there. And I was like, I haven't done it yet. Not till eight o'clock. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> crazy dog. Um, but now I'm feeling more energized and everything else. So I've got um, about an hour's worth of video of tutorial videos that I need, that I have to watch today. Um, and now that I'm feeling more energized and stuff, because we did a very nice long walk this evening and Zephy's leg was fine um, we didn't meet we only met one other dog on the walk um, which was kind of good because we were able to walk at a good at a good pace and I could watch her leg and she seems to be walking fine on it now so that's that's another good thing um, but my phone was going crazy it was it was one text message after another coming in so I haven't even looked to see how many text messages are there or who they're from I know one will be from my mum because it's around the time of the day that she usually texts, that she usually sends me a text. So I know there'll be one for my mum. I've got no idea who else has been texting me. But when you're trying to listen to a story, and, um, oh, yeah, warning when you are listening to um, to fiction books that are very humorous, very funny, 
and you're walking your dog, <laughs> when things get you funny, watch how loud you just watch the volume of the laugh because some people can turn around and look at you and wonder and like looking around to see what you're laughing at and you're actually listening to an audio book but they can't see your earpiece because it's tucked up on the side here and they may be on this side but it looks like you're laughing at nothing at all hello yes somebody wants her treats you still got time you're gonna have an hour to go okay um so yes so that can be quite humorous when you see people's expressions they're trying to figure out what it is you're laughing at and you just smile and wave and carry on walking so yeah it's been a very a very nice paced day today so i have really enjoyed today and um i got my plan set up for next week it's gonna be another busy schedule another busy week um so yeah but it's gonna be a good week <coughs> what did i put oh, my water's over there ah, dry throat coming on gotta go i forgot to have water before i sat down to do this but anyway so how was your day what did you do to relax refresh restore rejuvenate we just watched a couple of movies today um just nice family type movies watching um there was a series of movies done with john larroquette um as a as the character mcbride and he's kind of like a perry mason you know he's a he's a this one and mcbride is a former cop who becomes a lawyer leaves the police force becomes a lawyer and helps people um becomes a defense attorney and uh, so it's kind of like a Perry Mason thing where they go and investigate and then on the stand, the reveal is done as to who actually did whatever the crime was. So um, I kind of like those kind of, I guess you call them cozy mysteries. I kind of like those. But um, so we've kind of been watching those. There was only like about five, six, maybe seven or eight of them made. And one of them I have not been able to find on the movie list. So um, it's like one about halfway through. So I've only got like two of them to watch before I finish the whole series. And I've already got the next series that I'm going to watch lined up as well. Um, so next series of movies. <laughs> but anyway, it's, um, it was kind of fun just to watch those and just relax with them. And yeah, tomorrow night will be, it'll be action time. Watching. Oh, that's what I keep telling. I want to tell you guys too. On BritBox, which is one of the channels I get through, I get, um, with Amazon Prime, it has all these British programs on it, which I absolutely love. They have this really cool one. I had never heard of it before, but it's called Would I Lie to You? And basically they have these two guys who have bring in, have two team members on them and um, they take they all take turns at reading a card. And the card could either be something that's true or something that's a lie, but it's the first time that they see the card is when they read it out. Um, and so right there on the spot, they have to make up, if it's true, they just tell the truth. If it's a lie, they've got to make it sound like it's true. And the other team has to figure out whether or not they're telling the truth or a lie. It is absolutely hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but you can tell that the host and the two team leaders are very good mates, have a very good rapport together, um, tease each other, tease each other like crazy. Um, and sometimes you get some really good um, actors, celebrities on. They always have a celebrity crew always have some celebrities on that give you some really cool stories and stuff and uh, some of them have sort of like being you and they're sort of like you know well I hope this is not true because blah 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 and uh, there was one that was obviously keyed up with the producers and one of the team leaders and the, um, the episode was actually filmed the day of um, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's um, wedding day it was actually filmed that day and so Lee, who is one of the team leaders, told Rob, who's the host, and um, David, who's the other team leader, his card was that he actually that he had an invitation to go to the wedding today, but because they were filming, he um, he didn't go because he needed he had to be there. And the other two was like, and he didn't want to ask. And they said, well, could you take a plus one? He goes, yeah. Well, why didn't you take your wife? And or, well, she was out of town at the time. She had a prior commitment she couldn't get out of. And he said, I was thinking about taking you guys, but then I thought, no, because what if you haven't been given an invitation? And so they could start playing out this whole thing, this whole scenario. And when they, when it comes time to reveal if it's a truth or a lie, you know, they're, they're saying, oh, it's a lie, it better, it better be a lie and all this sort of stuff. And and um, he and he goes, well, it was actually true. And they're like, what? Because they couldn't believe because they never got an invite. And that, so then the whole thing just like turns and there's all this stuff going backwards and forth. And he goes, well, I have one more thing to add. And he goes, it's actually a lie <laughs> and presses the little button again to bring up the lie thing on the back thing but the producers had set it all up 
with him that this was going to be the last question today he was going to get it and this is what they wanted him to do with it so um because <laughs> he was blaming the producers on that one at the end but it is but if you have brit box and you get to see what i lie to you it is hilarious some of the stories that they come up with and some of them you're sort of like well that kind of sounds like it would be true i mean they're giving all the right terminology for that thing they're doing the right motions and stuff they're proving that they can do this and do that and oh, it's gonna be and then you find out it's a lot so like wow they did really cool and some of them are very quick with their responses and very quick off their feet as well so um i've been enjoying watching that series it's like 14 series 14 seasons of it i think it is but it's absolutely hilarious it's a good way to end the night we always end um, when we finish watching whatever we're watching for the evening, um, I said to Sophie, I said, okay, one episode of What I Lie to You and then it's bedtime. And uh, so we always end our evening by watching an episode of that. So we're ending it on a high note. And uh, it's actually quite humorous with some of, the, some of the stories, some of the stories. And then some of the stories sound so out there. You're like, oh, that's definitely a lot. And it turns out to be true. So, <laughs> so um, but it's a great way to end, to end an evening is to watch something, watch some comedy to end an evening watch some comedy just before you go to bed it helps you feel good laughter helps you release a lot of tension it's a great stress reliever you get those endorphins going and as we know happy people endorphins make you happy um so um yeah so try and end your evenings with something fun and funny like a you know even if it's a 30 minute comment a sitcom if it's a 40 minute sitcom end your evening on a high note with something funny that you can watch or listen to that will help you go to bed in a better mood, more relaxed and stress for and with less anxiety and stress and all that sort of stuff that good laughter provides. That's it from me for tonight. Um, go have a super fantastic sparkling rest of your Serenity Sunday, and we'll catch you back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Magic Monday. Hey, Conara.